Good morning, everybody. Stetson from Stetson here, guys. Today is Monday morning, and we are officially starting scalping this week. So I did a couple of scalps last week, but we're going to officially be hitting the full schedule this week. Got Jackson with me? Yes, sir. Jackson's doing good this morning. Let's get her done. No Fletcher, you guys can see. he's uh He said that his foot's bothering him still from his little dirt bike incident a few weeks ago. So I think this week might be the last week that... uh he should be healing up, but he said he like, he can help us with the mulch and stuff. It just the the mowing and the constant walking. Um, he said it just hurts him. He won't be able to do. So we're gonna hit him up later this week to help us with some landscape mulch jobs. But Jackson and I are gonna knock out the scalping for now. So today we got eight on the schedule, and they're all pretty small yards. We're starting at light, and uh, we got the dump trailer hooked up, and then buckets. We're just gonna dump it in buckets, dump it in the dump trailer. So we will see you guys at the first house. What's up, everybody? So we got one done it was a yard full of weeds y'all didn't want to see that but next we're at this house we're replanting that blue atlas cedar last year but we're gonna get this one scalped up and uh out of here so let's get to it Man, those are not light, are they? All right, guys, so you saw. Let's get this one scalped up. We're getting finished up. Ugh. Grass on my mouth. Probably my least favorite thing to do with scalping, but it's got to get done. You only got to do it once a year, so push through. But we're done here. Jackson's finished blowing off, so we're going to head to the next one. See you there. So we are at the next one. Scalping this one up right here. It's, uh, I mean, you can tell they all need to be scalped. It's starting to green up a little bit. We had a little freeze this weekend, so it's starting to everything's starting to go dormant again and then i guess this or last week and then this next weekend we're supposed to have another freeze so it's uh it's definitely a weird spring but it doesn't matter since we're scalping so let's get to it All right, guys, so we just got this little one finished up. You can see our uh, trailer is growing of grass. We got five more to do, so this thing will probably be full by the end of the day. So we're at the next two, so we finished up two more over there. Now we got this house, 
this house you guys have seen and uh jackson's gonna do one i'm gonna do the other so i'm gonna do this white house jackson's gonna do this one so let's get these two done So we got these two finished up, man. It's getting dusty out here. Trailer's getting full. It's uh, stuff. It's definitely not for the week, man. Gotta go. Mind over matter in this scalping crap. But good news, we got one left for the day. But you can see, trailer's uh, pretty full. So we're gonna head to the next one, the last one, and then call it a day. So we we'll see you guys in a bit. Good afternoon, everybody. So we are at the last one of the day. I don't think I've ever recorded this yard, but nice yard. The backyard has a really steep hill, so I'm gonna take you guys with me to the back while Jackson gets the front done, so let's get to it. Wow, guys, that uh, hill right there is no joke. I lost the mower a couple times on it. Always gives me issues, but what a beautiful view right here, man. Beautiful view. Uh, but I'm gonna finish up back here. We eat, pull off, then we're gonna be done. So we'll, uh, if I catch you guys back at the shop or whenever I get home, either one, see you in a sec. I'm, uh, haven't left yet, just blew off back here, but I forget, I wanna show you guys. We're gonna be doing some landscaping here. So first off, we're gonna be changing all of the mulch to black mulch and all the flower beds. There's these back here, that one, that tree in the front fly bed. And then uh, right here, we're gonna replace these with some Taylor junipers or an Arbor Vitae. He hasn't decided yet. And uh, probably gonna be the Taylor junipers, but because those, that's what was there, they died. So we're gonna be replacing those soon. And then right in this area, I'll put a picture on screen. I got a little design for them, but this area doesn't go grass because it's in the shade all the time. So we're gonna just get a piece of edging and mark that off right there. And then we're gonna put some kind of Mexican beach pebble uh, river rock type, a darker river rock, and then put some stepping stones that are gonna match these rocks. Just the, you know, the lighter reddish color, brownish, 
so I'll put the design on screen I have. It's not the final design, but it's what we have so far, and he, I think he likes it. So we're going to uh, we're gonna be doing that in the next few weeks. So we need to get a price together for him, finish up with the mulch, and then we'll have a full uh, full quote for him. But it seems like he's on he's gonna be on board with it. So I'm excited for that, and we will have to remove all the old mulch because you can see this is grade a cedar mulch and we're replacing it with black mulch so we're gonna have to take out all the old mulch so that'll be a job in itself right there but anyway now we're done here heading back to the shop we'll see you there all right guys what's up so we're back at the house and uh i've got you're at a low angle because i've got the tripod set up on the gopro so i can talk with my hands hands free but we to have a little heart to heart with you guys for a second and uh you guys probably don't want to hear this crap, but I figured I tell you guys because uh, last night, Sunday night, I had a really big come to Jesus moment, man. So I uh, was just sitting there, kind of thinking, you know, thinking about the future, and I decided, you know, for some reason, I broke down and I started, I started having a just a meltdown. I started, you know, questioning: Is this right for me? Should I be doing this? You know, I'm not, I'm not as happy as I could be, um, you know, doing the lawns, and I just, I didn't feel like this is my calling so i've been if anyone's new here i've been doing lawn care for like 10 years now i think this is like my 12th or 13th year i don't know it's been 10 plus years and it's been a long time man i loved it in the beginning it's fun it's been fun growing the business but where i'm at now and uh, where i want to be in life I, it's just too far away i'm i'm honestly not going to get there by just sticking to mowing lawns so a lot of you guys know i'm definitely getting into uh, real estate eventually i want to be owning a bunch of apartment complexes rent houses stuff like that I'm gonna get into that eventually, but I'm not in a rush for that. Um, so for the time being, I think I've decided this will probably be my last year mowing. I, I'm not 100% sure, but you know, 90, 95% sure that this is probably gonna be the last year mowing because A, I just, finding good help, hard to find. B, finding reliable help, you know, C, just keeping everything afloat, you know, having all the, I've got a lot of expenses in the off season and this is very seasonal work, that's the thing. So yes, we've got, I've got investment and stuff like that, but I like to have income year round that's coming in. So by, uh, you know, selling the business and getting into a different type of business. So I'd, I'd keep the landscaping, still do that stuff, but I think I would sell, I'd sell the mowing. I'd sell all the mowers, sell the mowing route, sell the mowing trailer. And so a lot of you guys are probably wondering, what are you going to do, Stet? So I've been, uh, really pondering i've always wanted to do this and so i think next year i'm gonna pull the trigger after i sell everything i think i'm gonna buy a full-size skid steer like a kubota svl you know 75 85 95t whatever it is um i know those are expensive you know they're upwards of 100 grand but if i could get one for uh you know fun to use one with a couple hundred hours maybe even a thousand hours for a good deal you know in like the 60s 70s i might i might pull the trigger on that and then uh just try to get into uh the full-time just skid steer work grading work you know putting driveways leveling out making pads for home builders whatever the case may be stuff like that because you know i do work for a lot of home builders so i have an in in that industry and uh you know advertise heavy for it and all that stuff it's just like i said it's a big upfront cost it's of you know between 60 to 100 grand depending on if you get a brand new one or a used one but that's just something i've been thinking about guys but i really do think that 2024 it's gonna be a great season i'm excited to uh for the mowing and everything but I think uh, unless I can get a mow crew going, this is going to be my last year mowing because it's just, in, in my eyes, it's not worth it to me. Uh, a, killing my body just to make a buck in this business. I'd rather do the landscaping and make more money because the mowing, you're making a lot less money than a landscape job. And so I'd much rather um, be doing something I enjoy to make money than something that I, you know, not hate, but, you know, I don't enjoy it as much. In this day and age it's been a long time to have a mowing then be if like i said not making as much money and then you know finding the help finding the reliable help and the it's just hard to come by man like i got two great guys right now but who knows what's going to happen next year and uh you know one of my guys is leaving in august to go to school so you know finding i'll have to find someone to replace him or run it back with just me and another guy and so it's just going to be hectic and i just wanted to be more real with you guys let you guys in and i feel like if i got a skid steer like that you know that'd bring a lot of cool content to the channel also I'm seeing a bunch of also like little chinese mini skid steers going around they're selling an auction for like four to five thousand i thought about buying one of those soon and just kind of starting to offer work with those with the little mini skid steer see if i can get enough work for it and if i can man then i'm gonna pull the trigger on a full size one you know because those mini skid steers are cheap they're like four or five grand yeah they're from auction they're chinese brand but um, I feel like it'll pay for itself in a month or so if I can find the work for it. So I feel like 
if I can find the work for a mini skid steer, I should have no problem finding the work for a full size skid. It's just everything's about taking a leap of faith, man. And I'll never know till I try. Of course, I'm sure there's gonna be people that comment that say, you know, don't do it, stick with it. But I, in my eyes, I feel like I'm gonna be stuck here forever unless I really put myself out there and try something new. And so I think that uh, I think that's what I need to do. That's the next step in the business. So there's my update for you guys. Wanted to uh, just be real with you for a second. But I want to end the video. You guys saw we got all the scalping done. Jackson helped out, and uh, Fletcher should be back soon. With once his foot gets better, we should be all full steam ahead with all three of us. I'm hoping. But I've been uh, debating hiring another guy maybe and getting a mo crew going. So if anyone's interested in working and you live in the Central OK area, we're headquartered in Moore, so you'd have to come to Moore every day. But you're in the Moore Norman area and you're interested in working and you know you got lawn care experience in the past and you can uh, possibly looking for a crew leader. So if you've got experience in that, uh, I'll pay you well. Uh, don't worry. And uh, if you guys are interested, just send me a DM. Uh, I'll link my Instagram in below. Send me a DM on Instagram if you're interested in a job this season and uh, get things going, guys. Like I said, we got the mowing, the landscaping, and all that. Just DM me if you're interested in that. I hope you guys all enjoy this video. It was a crazy one you guys saw in that last yard, man. The hill was like really, really steep. I lost the mower a couple times, even ended up sideways. So it's uh, that yard's that yard's hectic, but that yard's fun to do. I like that yard. Awesome people too. Uh, but I'm glad the scalping's done for today. Be scalping more tomorrow on Tuesday, then I think Wednesday. I'm gonna switch it up. We'll do some mulch, landscaping, and then Thursday, Friday, probably finish up scalping. We'll just see. We got a lot of yards to scalp. So, either way, I'm gonna take you guys along with us for the ride, no matter what we're doing. So, we'll see you guys tomorrow in the next video. Peace out.